of personal expression to which all of us have a constitutional right and so long as that exercise of the right is not infringing on anybody else's rights then you should for all intents and purposes be able to express yourself and for the family they express themselves with their hair yeah some of us express ourselves with piercings some of us express ourselves with tattoos some of us express ourselves in the way we dress the way we speak they chose hair and this little girl you should see the photos they are so cute her hair is so neat right and they saw her hair as an offense to good hygiene I'm also not gonna comment on that because I feel like I'm gonna say something that is rude and I am accountable to various groups of people so I don't want to put anybody in a position to have to defend what I really want to say but to the school administration, I say one thing. You have done a great job upholding the vestiges of colonialism. I think Queen Elizabeth, all kings and queens before her time, kings and queens in the Dutch countries, in Spain, right across the former colonial empires would be so proud of the principal and the teaching staff at Kensington Primary. Our enslavers would probably give you an award for upholding this level of racism because that's really all it is and I don't care how you want to call it, I don't know what you want to title it, to sleep good at night, but you are just a perfect example of how colonialism can thrive even through black bodies black institutions and in black countries so to kensington primary school and the team there that supports the position of the administrators good job reflecting mimicking and choosing to be mentored by our enslavers